Hello everyone, this is Elisa and next week is Singapore's National Day. So we thought like why not sketch the famous Singapore icon which is the Merlion behind me. And I thought like um, I also want to sketch the Marina Bay Sands and the Art Museum. So come join me and sketch. Standing on the ground, the buildings are slightly taller than the Merlion. Noting that, I sketched the Merlion first since it's on the foreground. Then, drawing a line to separate the foreground from the background, I sketched the rest of the architecture. It's definitely not a perfect sketch. My sketchbook was too small for the whole body of the Merlion. The weather was rainy and very hot. I could feel people rushing back and forth. But I'm thankful that I was able to observe and appreciate the details of the famous Singapore icons. Before starting to paint, identify where the light source is coming from. Then, paint an initial wash around the areas. Then, dropped in permanent rows. I love to use my own color combination instead of copying everything that I see. I believe it adds interest to the artwork. For the building, I use phthalo blue and paint an initial line, then soften it with water to create a soft look. Then, drop in cobalt blue on the right side and allow the colors to mix. I like to use water on the initial wash because it's easy for me to drop in colors and manipulate it where I want it to flow. For me, it's very relaxing to work this way. Here, I painted some abstract details, trying to keep it simple.
I use wet on wet on the water, taking care to leave some white spaces for the waves. Instead of just filling a sketch with color, I like to create marks, like short lines for example, then soften it with water. I think it adds depth, texture, and interest to a painting. I begin to work on the darks layer by layer. My favorite darks are mixed of cobalt blue and burnt sienna, permanent rose with lots of cobalt blue, and any color mixed with brown. You can always darken watercolor using complementary colors like red and green, yellow and purple, or you can add any darker colors on the mix. As you can see, I keep adding darks as I go along, not all at once, because I need to gauge how much dark is needed and to make sure that the contrast is achieved without overdoing it. Sometimes, knowing which elements you want to be in focus is important. If I want the merlion to be the focus, then I should make the colors darker, since it's on the foreground. I painted some wavy short lines and softened it with water to create the gentle waves. I added some permanent rows here and there to unify the painting since I painted some on the merlion. For the sky, I used a watery cobalt blue and paint a random shape, then paint the space around it. This technique is called negative painting. Hopefully, you can see the illusion of the clouds that were formed. I used acrylic titanium white 
for the water coming out of the merlion's mouth. I hope you have learned some watercolor techniques in this demonstration. I encourage you to pick one thing or scenery that captures your interest, then sketch and paint it. This is a great way to get better in drawing and painting. If you have enjoyed and learned from this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe. I will be posting more sketching and watercolor demos that will help you in your creative journey. Also, I want to wish all the Singaporeans a happy National Day. Till the next video!